Hey everybody, Glenn Hausman here, and I'm so glad, glad, glad that you've arrived. Today's video is brought to you by SkyTouch Technology, the hospitality's innovative cloud-based property management system. As the industry is getting back to business, SkyTouch is rolling out new features that help employee productivity and success. Learn more about them at skytouchtechnology.com. Also, be sure to like our Facebook page, our LinkedIn page, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you're on it right now, smash that like button and help us get more subscribers. Thank you so much. On with our first story. All right, some shocking news broke late Friday night as it emerged that co-founders Jay Roberts and Adrian Lamb of the Apart Hotel brand Domeo suddenly resigned from their roles immediately. We were really surprised by this. As a result... Chief Financial Officer Jim Murha is stepping up to replace Roberts as interim CEO, and he takes over his role on Domeo's board of directors as well. Additionally, um, a New York-based Domeo was accused of malpractice in a report by The Information, which is a digital media company. They claim to have uncovered a sequence of odd business practices, such as fake host names, misleading Airbnb accounts, and some other incongruities. The article states... Domeo has a history of questionable business practices, which helped it flout short-term rental laws in cities around the country. Those practices, including listing of rental properties using a network of misleading Airbnb host accounts, some featuring fake names and stock photographs, which made it harder for them to tie back to Domeo. Here's the thing. On August 5th, Jay Roberts appeared on No Vacancy Live. Please go check that out on YouTube at NoVacancyNews.com and elsewhere. And he was asked specifically about Airbnb rules. He denied skirting them. In fact, he cited what was called a multiple dwelling law at about nine minutes and 30 seconds into that episode. And he sounded legitimate at the time. I encourage all of you to go back to that. See for yourself whether he was on point or being dishonest to us. Let us know what you think in the comments section below. We were pretty surprised to hear this pretty news. He seemed like uh, he seemed like a pretty up and up guy, and we hope that this is not accurate and he could clear his name. Good luck to the folks at Domeo as they enter this rocky new period of time. Finally, Governor DeSantis is reopening Florida full force. What great news for the tourism industry there. Hopefully that state's going to get back to going as soon as possible. We could already see some of the changes happening, for example, at the theme park business. Because they've removed all restrictions, the Walt Disney World Resort is already letting in more people, according to various sources online. And right now, Josh DeMauro, the recently appointed chairman of Disney Parks Experiences and Products, held a virtual press conference begging and pleading Governor Newsom of California to reopen their theme parks. He says, the longer we wait, the more devastating the impact will be to Orange County and the Anaheim communities. Tens of thousands of people who rely on us for employment. Plus, think about all of those hotels, restaurants, and other entertainment services in the Anaheim area alone. And it's absolutely essential that that state lets hoteliers, lets theme park people, and lets entertainment venues start to get back to business. Our economy is at stake here right now. And with the proper rules put into place. They can open, they should open, and we need the money for our economy. All right. Thanks so much for watching today's show. Text the word hotel to 66866 to subscribe to our weekly newsletter. Like us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube and all of that kind of good stuff. Thanks so much. And we'll see you next time.